So today's lesson is on writing fractions in their simplest form, algebraic fractions. And the difference with this type is we actually have the variable or the algebra on the bottom. And how do we do this? Okay, so um, variable is another word for letter, which is basically an unknown. Okay, so originally, back in primary school, if you had one third plus one quarter, uh, your teacher may have said, well, you need to find a common denominator. And other people may have learned, right, well, I'm not sure what the common denominator might be if you weren't too sure of your multiples. But the teacher might have said to you, well, if you multiply three by four, you will always get the common denominator. It might not be the lowest terms, but it will be a denominator that they both go into. And so we're going to use this idea of multiplying the two bottom numbers to help us. So, I'm going to draw my line here, my fraction line, and I'm going to place the two variable denominators on the bottom. So I'll be writing x minus three multiplied by x plus 2. And what that means is basically, I'm not too sure what this x is, but I know if I multiply these two answers, I will get a denominator that works. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go x minus 3 divided into all of this. Well, x minus 3 divided into this goes once, and I'm left with this. So it will be x plus 2 all multiplied by whatever was on top, which in this case is times 2, plus, I'll just keep everything in brackets just to keep things nice and easy, um, we've got x plus 2 goes into this once, and what am I left with? I'm left with this, which is x minus 3 all multiplied by whatever was on top, which in this case was 4. Okay, and that is the hardest bit done, essentially. So step one, you're going to write your two bottom denominators here together and multiply them. Step two, you're going to ask yourself, right, well, x minus 3 goes into this one once, but I have this left over. So it's this times whatever's on top, plus, plus x plus 2 goes into this once, and I'm left with x minus 3, so keep that in brackets, multiply by what's ever on top. Okay, as before now, we're going to sort out this top line here, tidy it up, see what we can simplify and bring together. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller so I have more room. And we can see here that we have one bracket multiplied by another bracket. And the best thing to do here in this case is to take our time. And so it's x times 2, which gives me 2x and 2 times 2, which gives me 4, so it's 2x plus 4, plus x by 4, which gives me 4x, and minus 3 times 4, which gives me minus 12. And that is all over x minus 3, bracket x plus 2, and I'm going to tidy up, so I have 2x and a 4x, that gives me, move these up a little bit, So, sorry, apologies. So I've got a 2x and a 4x, and that gives me 6x. And 4 minus 12 gives me minus 8. So I have 6x minus 8 all over x minus 3 times x plus 2. And that's really all I can do there. So the question asked me to express 2 all divided by x minus 3 plus 4 all divided by x plus 2 as a single fraction in its simplest form. And here it is as a single fraction in its simplest form. Okay, so I would like you now to have a go at this one here. This is your learning check for tonight. And it is basically 5 divided by 2x plus 1 plus 2 divided by 3x plus 1, and you are to express it as a single fraction, which means one thing over another.